guys, welcome to Keeping It Simple Crafts. Today we are going to be making homemade disinfectant wipes. I know right now it's a little bit hard to find the Clorox or Lysol uh, disinfectant wipes, so I decided to make some homemade ones because we're almost out. So you'll want to use name brand paper towels and you'll need a container. I'm using, I'm just recycling a container that some of my previous ones came out of. So you'll need to measure your paper towels and cut them to fit your container. It's also kind of hard to find rubbing alcohol right now. So if you can find it, you'll want to get at least 70% or higher, um, preferably you know 99% if you can find it. But this is all that I have and can find. So right now I'm using the 70% rubbing alcohol and it's just a first aid antiseptic. And then you're going to need some dishwashing soap. Um, I'm using the Dawn, but you can use the Palmolive or Dove dishwashing soap. And you're also going to need some water. So it's real simple to make. First, you're going to want to measure out one cup of your rubbing alcohol. Then you're going to need a half a cup of just water. You're going to need a tablespoon of your Dawn dishwashing soap. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to mix the Dawn dishwashing soap in a tablespoon of water first and stir it real good before I pour it in the rubbing alcohol and water mixture. So one tablespoon of Dawn and I'm just stirring it in a tablespoon of water to mix it real good first. So I have a half a cup water and I'm going to pour my cup of rubbing alcohol in with the water now. And then I'm going to pour my soap and water mixture in too. Just give it a little bit of a stir. Next you're going to take your paper towels and put them in your container. Okay, and now we're going to pour the rubbing alcohol mixture over the paper towels, nice and slow. After your paper towels have set for a little bit and the um, alcohol mixture has soaked in the paper towels, then you can carefully try to remove the cardboard out of your paper towels, and it's a little bit tricky and takes a little while. And then once you have the cardboard removed, just reach in the center and they should pull out just like regular Clorox wipes. But you're going to want to find a lid that seals your container really good and you'll want to shake up your wipes. Okay guys, and that's it. Now you're ready to wipe off your kitchen countertops. So just use a wipe, wipe them off, and then it let it air dry. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like it, please give it a thumbs up and share. And if you have not subscribed to my channel, I would love to have you as a subscriber. So please click the subscribe button right below the video on the right. And if you want notifications, please click the bell.